Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of these black bars, like, f on your YouTube thumbnails. There's not much to explain about this. So, if you ever upload a thumbnail for your video and it just happens to have these black bars and you don't know how to change it or how to remove those, this is the video for you. Now, for example, I just finished a video, Can I Beat Pokemon Heart Gold with One Kangaskhan? Obviously, go watch that video if you're interested. Now, if I want, let me just move my face cam. So it asks, like, it asks me what the image width is. I use the free online editor, photo editor, Pixlr X. So, if you want to use it, search it up. It's super good. So I press 1920 by 1080 for the width, but it's locked and I like physically cannot unlock this. So it will always be image height 1638 unless I go to something like 400, then it'll obviously do that. It's currently capped at 1638. Now, let me just, let me save it right here at 856 by 638. I'm just going to name this test so I don't mess up any of my other thumbnails I download that downloads right here perfect and then you go and try to upload that to to your video you do that it has terrible black bars you don't want that so here's where it comes here's where the actual tutorial comes in so you want to open file explorer you want to go down to downloads which is where your thumbnail will be you want to click on this like your old thumbnail it looks fine here but then if you obviously go into your editor or your youtube studio it has the black bars so to fix that you right click on the thumbnail you want to edit you click edit here just it's it'll say straight edit it'll open ms paint now you don't don't mess with anything don't mess with these adjust bars this is exactly what you do you go up to here press resize click pixels and then you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio so it's not locked then i can freely change both of these to the specific ones I want. I want to do 1920 by 1080. Do whatever you want. I recommend 1920 by 1080. Now you have that ready. Press OK. It should get like this. Perfectly fine. You go to File. Save as JPEG Picture. That is probably the best one there is. It's not like you can use PNG but JPEG usually tends to be a smaller file so you click on JPEG then you go it'll ask you to name it test 2 I'll name it test 2 then we can go into here again change it now open test 2 perfect awesome works perfectly fine yeah that's how you do it uh please like the video subscribe check out my other videos i hope this helped you guys